we are coming out of the slave danger, both female, male, and other dangers. Um, I just want to know your feedback. How did you feel? How was that? Okay. It was exhausting. Because all of my ancestors were there. And that's who I was thinking about. We had all the things that they all the things that they have gone through in life. And for me to be still standing. And I'm here for that reason. And I feel that power that I have to go out and tell all my nieces and nephews about our history. And it's up to me. So I stood on my parents' shoulders. My parents stood on their parents' shoulders. All right. All and they stood, they stood on their parents. So going back those four generations, it's all it's just me, and I'm going to do it. That's right. Yeah, that's that's right. Day. Can you have someone also to share with us the experience? Yes, thank you, Johnny. Okay. Oh, it's going to come. You will talk. Okay. Thank you. Uh, for me, I've always wanted to come to Mother Africa, but the main reason that I wanted to come was to Cape Coast to see the door of no return. I knew that that was going to spiritually satisfy and fulfill that connection that I've wanted with my ancestors forever. It was dark, but in the end, for me it was also light. As Vera eloquently said, we stand on their sacrifices. We stand on their strength. We stand on their power. We stand on their unity. And I am so grateful to my ancestors for the sacrifices and the light within themselves that they have now passed on to us to still be able to live that and to love and share it.
opportunity to do great things and we have the victory. They didn't win. They didn't win. And so we fight on. I was telling Cynthia that communing with my ancestors is something that is very much a part of my everyday life. I do it all around my house. I speak to the ancestors. I ask their blessings on me. But this was a time where I felt them stronger than ever when I was in there. And I pray that I live a life that honors them. And so I thought of two things. I thought of a, of, of a scripture, a Christian scripture actually, but it's, it's interpreted as a Christian scripture, but it's actually very much African, and that is honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the earth. I, I thought about that, and my prayer was just not to look back, because we can look back and we can learn history, but we have to take that into our spirit and go forward. What does it mean going forward? And my prayer is always that I live a life that honors the ancestors, because much has been done. Thank you. Thank you. One more person. One more person. One more person. <laughs> One, <two. laughs> One more person. <laughs> I'm lost for words. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I am lost for words. time to get here but I'm here all right and I actually felt this the spirit in the male dungeon I felt their spirit I felt the, I felt the spirit within that whole building but you know how can I take what I felt Translated and speak the language is necessary to those who live in my uh, in America, my family, my friends. When I talk about these type of experiences, it's so distant for them, very distant. And so I have the pictures. I capture some really good conversation, but it's going to take a while for me to process what I'm going through right now. It's going to take a while. So, Omani, you have a vision. And you know what you're doing. You've been doing it for so many years. And I thank you. Appreciate you. The uh, United States is trying to annihilate us, our uh, history. Yes. And they're trying to say that we are just making things up. And it's here. And we have to get others to come. Other um, Americans, Caribbeans, just people of color, and share the experience because you really can't. I can't express what I felt. I'm trying to, but I, it's very difficult. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your expressions. Something came up. Something came up that I want to elaborate on it a little bit that whether it's a religious saying or traditional saying or whatever, that honor your mother and your father so that your life will be long on this earth. Yeah, yes, it's true. It's in uh, uh, the Bible. When you go to the Quran, it also says the same thing. Yeah. And naturally, if your mother, your father, you don't honor them, whom are you going to honor? Why did your heavenly father created you on this earth? For you to worship. We have an adage that we say here. And um, I think Nigeria also say the same thing. 
that your mother have helped or your parents have helped you to grow teeth. Help them to lose their teeth. Your parents have helped you to grow teeth. You also help them to lose their teeth. They have taken care of you from infancy. When you grow, what honor are you giving them? It says, honor your father and your mother. It never says that honor them when they are alive. It never says honor them when they are dead. It never says whatsoever. It says honor them. Meaning that wherever you find yourself, you have to honor them. Whatever they are your life, you have to honor them. Honoring them paves a way for you. Now, when you honor, let's 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 do this simple calculation. If your child, you buy something for your child, and the child comes and says, "Thank you, mom. Thank you, dad." Just some few hours or minutes later, he said, "I need this. What will you do?" You will definitely go and buy that into for that child. So, because the person was so thankful to you for the little thing that you did the person will receive a bigger thing. And when you, the person receives, say, my mom is very special, my dad is very special. It's the same way that we need to honor our parents. Sometimes it might not take much of you. Something little. I know a lot of people believe in flowers. And a lot of people don't believe in flowers. Uh, hold, hold, can you hold, uh, let's try to get a good picture right here, please. Tell me, uh, so uh, driver. Mazan Bojo, hold on. Bojo, can you reverse a little bit? Mr. Yeah. Wara. Let's uh, wrap it up in the you, Yeah, yeah. Just, just reverse. So the more, you see that from, this is connected to the affirmation that we said. The more we have, the more we give it to our African people. The more you give, the more blessings you receive. So as we are here to see what our ancestors went through, the blessings of it will always come.